In today's video, I'm gonna check out one of the cheapest super strats made by Harley Benton. Is it good or is it shit? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's been a while but I'm back to recording new videos and today I'm checking out the Harley Benton HWY25 Progressive Series. Let's be honest, it's a very cheap guitar. It costs around $130 so I don't expect it to be amazing but who knows, maybe it will surprise me and if you want to check out more details about that model feel free to check out the link in the description. My first impression after unboxing is that it's a very good looking guitar. I really like the overall aesthetic of that model, especially the inlay on the fretboard. I think it looks looks very, very cool. Everything's black in here, black hardware, black matte finish, so if you like that kind of vibe, you will be more than happy. When it comes to the specs, this model has a basswood body, a maple neck with the modern C profile, which is pretty comfortable, and a rose acer fretboard, which feels pretty good too. This neck is not that thin, considering the fact that it's a super strut, I thought that it would be a little bit slimmer. As you can see on the video, there are two humbuckers in here, they are basic, but they work fine, and there's also a standard tremolo bridge. Okay, so obviously it's a cheap guitar, so it's not perfect, and in my opinion, the main disadvantages are the pickups and the tuners. I think that replacing this stuff would be very beneficial but it's not necessary especially if you're just starting out. The factory setup was actually pretty good, the string action could be a bit lower but it's not a massive problem, there is no buzzing or anything like that so that's definitely a good sign. Generally speaking I think that this guitar is definitely worth the money, it's not the best guitar in the world let's be honest but considering that it costs only $130 it's definitely a good deal. Alright guys it's time for a quick sound demo so let's plug it in and let's see how it sounds.
can see, this guitar is not bad at all, so I highly recommend checking it out. I think it's amazing that you can find such a good guitar at such a low price these days. If you like rock and metal music and you're still a beginner, you should definitely consider adding this guitar to your own collection. And that's pretty much it guys, thanks for watching, hopefully this video was helpful and if it was, consider subscribing to my channel. See you next time.